So as you can see, we have all these things passing meets device integrity, meets basic integrity and meets strong integrity. So you can also do this thing very easily. Make sure to follow the steps in this video carefully. All the credits for this guide is already available in the description and also on Telegram channel. So make sure to check out that before commenting anything related to that. Moving on to the first thing and the thing which you need is of course Magisk. By the way, Magisk already has this inbuilt Gigisk option available. But you need to install some modules, by the way, so keep this thing in your mind. And if you use kernel SU, things are might, things might be different in your case. Not a major difference, a minor one, but I'll let you know for sure. First of all, we have all these modules available and all the required files links are there in the description. So make sure to check out that. First of all, as you can see, all these things are available. The thing firstly, which you have to install is this module named as ReGiDisk. And yes, even if you use Magisk, you can install this thing on a device. And if you use kernel SU, this thing is must. Secondly, click on install from storage and then click on these options and you will find display integrity fix. This is the thing which you have to install in kernel SU and also in Magisk both. And of course, in a patch also in case you are using a patch. This was the second module which you need to install. Another thing is click on install from storage. Then we have two options available and two modules left. The first one is tricky store. Install this thing and as usually like other modules. And this is also the one of the modules which you can install in kernel SU or a patch. And I'm using this in Magisk. So Magisk is of course needed. Last but not the least, we have to install this tricky store add on module. After installing all these modules, as you can see, everything is done. All these modules are giving you success message, which means everything goes right so far. After doing all of these things, you have to reboot your device once to make it work and do some things like that. After installing all these things, and by the way, keep this thing in your mind that every time everything will not work for you. So sometimes if it is not working for you, this might be server side. So you just have to stay patient. Things might work for you later on. After installing and after rebooting my device, as you can see, we have three modules available, but we installed fourth. The fourth one is not available in this case. How you can access that? And by the way, if you use Magisk, this is the thing for you. If you're using kernel SU, then you will see four modules and you can use the, the last one, which I'm going to use right now, Tricky Store add-on module. I will be able to use that directly, but if I use kernel SU only. But if you use Magisk like me, then you have to follow the steps. Let me show you, but, but before, me, before going further, you can check out the Play Integrity API Checker. As you can see, meets device integrity, meets basic integrity after installing some of those modules, but the strong integrity is not passing for now. But how? Because we did all the steps, but we have one thing left. Let me show you. As I just told you that I'm using Magisk, I'm not using kernel SU, so that's why I have to install this app named as KSU Web UI. But if you use Mag if you use kernel SU, if you use a patch, then you don't need to install this APK at all. Oh, by the way, you can use this thing in case, in case, if it is required. After installing that, you will see we have an app installed like this. Click on open and then simply grant the root permission. You will see these two options which have the web UI, but we have to use this tricky store one. We do not have to use a play integrity fix. Click on tricky store. This is the UI which we have right now. As you can see, this is the UI. So at the top right, we have three lines like this. Click there. You have a lot of options available. Click on select all. Then again, you will see that all these options are ticked. Click there once again, disable unnecessary. Make sure to tick this box. I just have few of the apps installed. That is why this happened. After doing this, you will see this. We have the option named as set valid key box. You just notice that in case you missed it, you can pause this video, go back and see what I did. And after that, click on save. Everything is just done. You do not need to reboot your device at all. After doing all of these things, click on check again. You will see that I have still same kind of options available, but if I click on legacy option, as you can see, we have things passing. Strong, device, basic, everything is there. Everything is working fine. So that's a very, very good thing. Remember one thing, as I just told you at the starting of the video also, that sometimes some things might not work for you. Sometimes some things might not work in your custom room. Like in my left side, I have the stock Android. Things are different. In this right side, we have different things. So everything else is the same. Make sure to follow the guide. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.